Do you see the things I do? I sacrifice fingers just to get the puppy in the right position. <laughs> this is great, huh? There is nothing better there is than nothing puppy better. teeth, puppy breath, puppy personality, you name it, little bogey here so, has it all. So bogey is a burner doodle. And, uh, what the heck is that? Yeah, that's a good question. I'll, we'll see in about six months. But it just, it's just a fabulous mix and really good temperament. And uh, Dr. Kim, look at those paws. I know. He's going to be dog. a very big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big oh, burner doodle. Oh, my yep. goodness. He's a fabulous He's dog. Not for adoption. Not for adoption. His mommy is here no. in the studio, but no, he no, is no, no. fabulous. Look him up. But a great personality, great dog, you know, and a really, really cool friend. Oh, my gosh. Great. He's great. So we're going to go from adorable, fantastic, full of energy puppies to you're going to talk about okay. birds. A couple ah, things real quick. So this book by Middleton Evans, mm -hmm. I was reading uh, Dan Rodericks in the Baltimore Sun and he talked about, he reviewed this book. Yeah. And it's a great darn book. If you want to get a good book for people who live in Maryland and mm -hmm. Delaware, Middleton Evans did a, an expose with 400 pictures and texts of all the birds in Maryland, Delaware. It just came out. It's a great gift for people. The authors were here. They're wonderful. This is a beautiful it, book. It is. I was going to give it to you, but you I already have one. No, you're so sweet. Maybe somebody else in the studio wants it, but it's yeah. full of pictures. Was, if you're sitting out looking at your window, it's, it's a great book to have. It's handy. a great gift if you live in Maryland, D.C., or Delaware. Yep. All right. Okay, good. Birds, puppies, great. we got it all. And okay. we also have suggestions for yeah. you. We need to okay. give suggestions. What suggestions do you have for exercising an indoor cat? Okay, so Jen. The, the world has changed for exercising indoor cats. You mm -hmm. know, cats get fat pretty quickly. They sure you have do. to figure it out. So certainly there, you know, in the past, there, there are toys that have food. There's laser pointers and so on and so forth. But now there's this company, uh, Primetime Pets. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you go up to the WBAL website and you search Dr. Kim, you'll see listings of this stuff so you can look it up. But Primetime Pets has created these magnificent perches that you can put on your walls and the cats can jump Just from perch climb to around perch all over perch. the place. And they have scratching posts mm -hmm. that fit like on your table legs and mm -hmm. things like that that are made of sisal. So these are all, you know, they're all sort of like really sort of smart ways to get your cat to jump around, play with cat toys and scratch. What's sisal? Sisal is a, a carpet that's kind of like raw. Oh, so okay. It's kind of scratching Good for their nails. Post, but it's, yeah. If you put it in your house, it's mm -hmm. very expensive. If you put it on a cat, there you it go. isn't. <laughs> All right. My dog was recently really sick with pancreatitis after eating table food. Are there long-term effects from this? There, there kind of is. Mm -hmm. and, and dogs die from this. And this is what happens. You know, we love them to death. We give these animals our bacon and I stuff know. like that. Yeah. And, they, and their, their pancreas gets inflamed mm -hmm. and they get, they get profoundly sick. And, and what happens is once a pancreas gets inflamed, it tends to be easier to inflame down the road. So now with Easter coming and stuff like that, please, you know, no, no treats for pets if you can help it. Is this prolonged? table feeding or is this could it happen Depends just on one the time? animal and, it, and you know sometimes like a big dog like this maybe mm -hmm. a, a little piece of bacon is no big deal but you yeah. take a 10 pound dog you get a piece of bacon it's like you eating a you know a whole you know tub of fat and it inflames their pancreas Eek. and the problem is they get really really sick and mm -hmm. they can actually die from it so oh wow okay all right and then how toxic is marijuana to pets what are the signs that my pet might be poisoned all right you know what it is toxic. Mm -hmm. It's really toxic. And again, it's dose related. So if it's, if, if, if the answer is no pot for pets. No pot for pets. Good rules to live by. Yeah. And if you, you know, if you have edibles, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Dogs are getting into the edibles and they're getting whacked. You really have to be conscientious about that. Oh, we got a happy puppy here getting ready to run free. <laughs> yes, you are, Dr. Kim. Thanks for coming in this morning. I really pleasure. appreciate it. you guys. You My can bring pleasure. this little guy back anytime. I can't <laughs> wait till I see what he looks like when he's full grown. <laughs>